All right, so you've just gone to Southeast Asia, you've stepped off a plane, you've maybe got an Uber or a Grab or a taxi to like where you're staying, and then you suddenly realize that you have no idea how to cross the roads. Because for a lack of a better description, they're just insane. People are driving in all sorts of directions. You have no idea what the laws are, where you should walk, where you're not allowed to walk. You know, other people seem to be just walking in any direction they fancy. People seem to be driving the wrong direction, sometimes even going the wrong way up a supposedly one-way lane. You just have no idea what you're doing. And especially if this is your first time in Southeast Asia in somewhere like Vietnam or Thailand, it can be confusing, right? You know, you have no idea what to do. Well, there is a very simple rule of thumb to follow when trying to cross a road in Southeast Asia. Now, it might seem like there are no rules and no order to these, these crazy roads and this crazy traffic out there, but the, the general rule of thumb is you have, in any, in any given traffic situation in Asia, you have a general direction of travel. So you have people going one way and people going another way. If you want to then cross over to then drive on the other side of the road, you can do that, but you just need to slowly edge out if you're driving a motorbike or a, bike or a car or something, you need to slowly edge out and make your intentions clear. Maybe use the horn a bit so people can hear you coming and they know what you're trying to do. And just slowly edge out. Even if there's not really what you would consider a gap normally in your home country, there might be a gap here because people tend to slow down if they see you edging out onto a road. And that really seems to be the rule of thumb. That's sort of when, that's sort of when it clicked for me, especially when I was walking around as a pedestrian. People tend to slow down if they see that you're slowly trying to get across the road. They're not just gonna keep going like they would in some countries and you know hit you, for example. Now, take this with a pinch of salt because this is just my experiences from trying to cross the, these various roads. You know, in other countries, like in other places, you know, in Hong Kong, for example, it's much more organized and structured and you can't just walk across the road. They have designated crossing areas. Whereas in places like Vietnam, especially when I was in uh, Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon, there, there didn't seem to be that level of structure. It seems to be that you just slowly walk out across the road, obviously make eye contact with the driver so that you can tell that they're slowing down and they can tell that you know that they're slowing down, but just generally slowly edge out onto the road and you'll be fine. Obviously in, in more built up areas, like in the busier areas of Saigon, there are crossing points and you should obviously use those and wait for the light to go green, as you would in your own country, wait for the light to go green and then cross the road like that. But if in doubt, just look at what everyone else is doing. You know, if people are just, if, if generally the, the locals are slowly edging out onto the road, slowly walking out and just letting the cars go around them or slow down, then that seems to be what they, what they do there. You know, that seems to be how you, how you cross the roads. So yeah, it can seem a bit crazy. And I was very surprised when I first got there. I didn't have a clue how to cross the road. You sort of get used to it and hopefully you get to the other side without having anyone beat their horn too loud or worst, worst case scenario hit you. So that is how to cross roads in Southeast Asia.